Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, can you believe it? The Survive Mola Mola Collab's back! That, let me just start off by saying, is some extreme nostalgia factor that's going on here. Survive Mola Mola, for those of you who are newer to the game than I was, old flipping ragget, this was the first collab that I remember. This thing was from flipping ages ago, and there was a big blue fish, and there's all sorts of other stuff. Now, I know almost nothing about the collab, and I only remember it in the sense that I remember it existed. So this is going to be an exciting rite of passage for me. Very intrigued when I saw Ponos's tweet about it. You've got a Junfish Sones that's actually Mola Mola, flipping love that, and the Cat Claw Dojo, which, uh, well, whatever. Check the special missions to access limited survive Mola Mola challenges. Oh, I will absolutely do that. Evolve Meowla Meowla. Is there anything past that? They're all bears be back, which we don't care about. So not that much at the moment, but it's begun, ladies and gentlemen. Survive Mola Mola and 300 million dead molars. Well, I don't even know what to think. Let's survive, first of all, because death can come after the surviving. And we start with Squid Bender. How fascinating. I can go in as brashly as I would ever like to, because it's not a time score stage. And even if it was one stage long, I'd just get a leadership. Thank you for introducing Leadership Ponos once again. Oh, okay. It's a squid. <gasps> it's a strange, ghostly squid. Woohoo! Oh, it's an enemy. I thought it was part of the background. It faded in so well, it, it just could have started destroying my base and I wouldn't have even realised. Well, it's quite a weak squid thing, but that's fine. I like a weak squid to start us off and it's one of the Mola Mola creatures. Looks terrified until it attacks. Poor old bloke. He's gone. Next then is Mean Morning Sunbeams. Sunbeams being, I assume, what was coming out of the mouth of that strange old square fish bloke. Well, we're gonna find out a little bit more because here's one of them again. Let's get our Jizo out, some erasers out, fairly standard start, contingency worker count, and skablam! That wasn't too difficult at all. Oh well, fine. I'm sure there'll be star stages and we can rip through this at the speed of wow! There's also crabs, uh, which are a bit different from like Elmut Crab and all these things like that. There's just loads of fish, loads of crab. I really like the base. That's a nice aquarium-y, fishy, I don't know the technical terms. It it's it's like under the sea in it. Life ain't easy, kid. Well let's see how easy this level is and I don't know what I was doing with that accent there. Ah, oh, it's a fish! Oh, we had a, oh, you've ruined it, mate. Big, scary, angry bloke. I was looking at my fish, my poor little sad fish, and then you appeared, spoiling my party. Anyway, as I was saying with the fish, poor old fish, incy wincy little fish, they've even got shadows, two shaped shadows, but shadows nonetheless. So also not even remotely intensive on my device, which I guess is useful. Battle Cats has never actually lagged for me, but at least it won't start here, I guess. I was about to say, we've set up a cyberpunk on the big fish, so he's going nowhere. Well, actually, he did go somewhere. Out the back door, he's gone, just like the rest of them, and that's pretty much it. And oh, we've got loads more now. A whole multitude of slowed fish. Well, Mag Aphrodite has a huge area of effect. Let's bring her out along with just my meat shields, and it'll just be entertaining to see the purple rain. Well, that's another level done, a little bit easier than I thought it would be on account of all the fish, and that's it! Also, also, there's stars, as I suspected. Well, that's brilliant, and seeming as it's all leadership and that, we can just go straight into it and at least spend a little bit more energy. We'll do this again, and then we'll check out the other level. Radical. Squid! Squid! See, why would you just stress yourself by doing things like speed runs of this, where you could be slow and nice and calm and appreciate the nice swimming fish? This has got to be the most calming Battle Cats level I have ever come across. I could turn this into some kind of mindfulness video. Imagine yourself in a deep and calming sea, with the waves moving up and down. Now take some deep breaths and see a huge great fish in front of you! And there's crabs! Looking at these fish now, it is really sad how sad they are. It, it, it's making me sad. Flipping fish. Let's investigate 
300 million dead molars. This one is a time score stage. Right, well, I'm going to go to Miss Slot 4, which encompasses quite a lot of different farming stages, so should be decent, although mostly anti-red. We've got plenty of stuff. Maglev, Can Can, A Bahama, Manic Lion, and Tropical Kalisa. are all fast and relatively multi-purpose. Not for a particularly difficult level, but me and my 11 leaderships are confident enough, at least for the first stage. Right, let's go. Maglev to start us off. That will give us extra cash. And oh, it's the Junfish Sons. This is adorable. Ah! Maglev start again. Simi, it worked so well for us last time. There's Squid this time where we're going to get a tiny bit of extra monies from it. And that was it. Okay, fair enough. Sardine Bones. I feel like this stage might be over quite quickly, unless we're going to go down the map and round again. That would be great. I love stages. Short base this time. Maglev straight away on your boy fish. We've got plenty of monies for a manic line. And there's our Junfish Zones again. Oh, it's Missiles of Pink. I love it so much. It's perfect in so many ways. And even as a media student, I can't at the moment begin to think why I love it so much. I just do. Some things just don't need textually analysing. They're just perfect. Sudden death, which is what we saw when those fishy fish died. And oh no, I haven't got enough energy to do the stage. Oh, whatever am I going to do? Oh, <laughs> wow. I mean, I am aware because people said that it adds on to the energy you have. But nonetheless, that is infinitely exciting. Four figures. Today is a very exciting day. Maglev, straight away, El Crab this time. Well, it's actually going to function as the start of our battle and have a little bit more significance than just sitting at the base and, oh, heavens above. <laughs> really actually making my Abrahamut struggle. We're not getting enough Manic Lions in to push them back at the moment because they aren't weak enough to be pushing them back like normal peons. So actually, as a time score stage, this is quite well designed to flout me. But ultimately, we got through it anyway. Still over 9,000 score. Pretty easy. And this is the final stage of them then. One step from heaven. Oh, come on now. We're in it. There's fish. Maglev. Oh, the poor sad fish. I actually feel bad killing them with my maglev. Or anything for that matter. Because they're just poor defenceless little fish. Most enemies, you know... The doge has the smirk. The zombies are zombies. Flipping our ost, need I say more? But these poor fish, what have they done to deserve the pain and suffering that we are befalling upon them? They probably didn't even want to battle. They just probably wanted to swim. I imagine, really, even though I'm skipping through all of them, we're getting loads of items from this. And I mean, yeah, back up to 142 cat CPUs, 163 rich cats. We are not running out anytime soon. Doesn't mean I'm not going to stay incredibly stingy about them, though. Just saying we won't run out of them anytime soon. Crab, 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 crabity, crab, 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 crabity, crab. Got to be careful to pronounce my B's, I think. Otherwise, uh, I'm going to get accused of things by the chat. Wham bam skablam, thank you Abe Bahamut, clearing out another level for us. And there we go, that finishes off for us the second start of 300 million dead molars, was it? It was indeed. Right, well, I'll tell you what, though not that much to it, I am so glad this came back. I mean, if you know me, you know that I love things coming back. We are defined, whether we like it or not, by our history, and we can either choose to entirely discredit it, or learn from it, and also enjoy the past bits of it which were good, like the Mola Mola collab. Ultimately, if we're going to do one philosophical point for the day, I think that it is very useful for us to look into our past, and as well as learning from what we haven't done so well, retaining and celebrating what we have done well. And Battle Cats, what you've done well. A new thing, leadership, always. An old thing, Mola Mola collab. And another new thing, bringing back the Mola Mola collab. It has also occurred to me through that that I didn't get the unit, so that's something to leave you excited for in the future. If there, I don't know if there'll be a guaranteed roll with this one. I'll get on to me ads for cat food and try and get enough cat food for that. We can try and get the unit as well and be unit-tastic and I'll just be completely overrun by collab units by the end of all of this. Fate Stay Night and now this and then all the other ones to add to it as well. Well, more units is probably more good and more good as you 
utilitarian and pretty much anyone is better. On that thought of good and better, I will lead you on to better things, which I probably shouldn't say because I'm trying to proffer my YouTube channel to you and suggesting going away from it is better is not good for getting people back. But maybe you'd like to come back, that would be nice of you. Please do if you want to, because there'll be more. There's always more. Anyway, that'll do it. Thank you for popping along, and I will say ta to you. I bid you goodbye, and I hope you enjoyed.